Oh, you can catch it. That's so cool. I allowed you to live because I wanted to see if I could catch it. Oh! Get out of here. Let me pick up all your garbage. Who has a head? You have a head. I thought I killed it. Don't you dare. Stop it. Let me kill his face. Jeez. That's cool. I like being able to catch those boomerangs. I like that a lot. All right. Um, hmm. where do I find? No. Where do I find a dude that knows how to get in? Surf's up, bro. Hi. Bye. You're going to chase me? No? You're going to go take a nap. Yeah, you you can't um, get into Gerudo Town. So either he's walking around, because that guy says he is, or... He's the dude. Uh, I think I think he's by the the inn, but I didn't see him. You know what I mean? Where's that music coming from? This. I'm gonna run through here and just pick up some stuff. Are you back? Seriously? I killed you before. Oh, Blood Moon. That's right. <gasps> yes, rupees, because I'm so poor and stupid fairy is gonna rob me of house and home. Oh, there it is. That. Like, I want to say that the person is there. Falling star! Uh, I found what we're going to first. Move. Actually, will I be able to safely get over there? Isn't that in uh, Zappy Zone from Naboris? I'm gonna try it. It's right in the middle of the zappy zone. I think it is because the uh, laser beam isn't showing up. Don't hurt me, divorce. We found a thing. On top of the big rock? Yeah, the, the thing I climbed earlier, I thought uh, he would be up there too, and he wasn't. So maybe I actually have to talk to that dude by the shrine, and that activates him. So that's what I was going to do, and then uh, Falling Star happened. So we're going to go get that. Also, whatever's up there. going on this area oh there's red glowy things all right how are we gonna is it daytime is it gonna be gone stupid the falling stars always fall literally right before the sun comes up
is a bummer. Yeah, I see no star. Well, that's a bummer. Came all this way for nothing. Well. Darn, it was a red one, too. Um. We got that one red one the other day. That was interesting. Yeah, you think I have to activate him as well? All right. He's probably here then. Hi, you. How are you doing? I don't know why the doggo cam is seemingly very laggy. But it's pretty bad. Which is funny because the doggo cam is usually the s whoa, the stable one and now it doesn't isn't even working. What the heck? Is it better? This feels laggy, but I don't know what changed recently, guys, but my OBS is having all sorts of problems. <laughs> you hot out here, Beetle? There's a scimitar on the ground? Hello? Yep, that was exactly it. We had to activate him. Hey! <laughs> oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something from me? I need your clothes. What's that? You've heard of a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? Oh, oh I don't know anything about him. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. Squint suspiciously. Oh. <laughs> You're making my cheeks warm looking, me at, looking at me like that. Uh, you're very beautiful. Oh, such a nice thing to say. And I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now, that I think about it, this style would look quite fetching on you. I'd have to charge you, of course. But I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. My rupees showed up. That's like... Oh! What do you think? Do you want to buy them for 600 rupees? I just have enough. For I'm back down to 54. It's a deal, then. I'll take your rupees now. I'm getting robbed, guys. <laughs> I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I look away. Rude. Mm. Bam! Get it. You look adorable. <laughs> Just a thought. Just as I thought, you make quite a good looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit. Look at his link. Being all shy. This is a striking look around here. I doubt anyone would suspect you're a man. On top of that, it breathes so well that it sure helped you deal with desert heat. At least a little. Oh. I'm so glad I was able to help you out. <laughs> if you're free to grab something to eat sometime, keep me in mind. Wait a minute. Oh, he just has... I was like... Only one male Gerudo was born into the Gerudo tribe or like every thousand years or something. And I was like, holy crap, that means he's Ganondorf. But no, he could just be wearing sticky on eyebrows. Her, uh. Make sure you watch out for the wind. <laughs> If you want to get more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. Heck yeah! I want some more. Oh. That giant monster cloaked in the sandstorm, if I recall correctly, is called the Divine Beast. I started wandering the Gerudo Desert several weeks ago. I wonder what it is exactly. 
Apparently, the chief of Gerudo Town is having a lot of trouble figuring out how to handle the situation. One thing for sure, they'd be helpless if the divine beast headed for town. That being said, you look adorable. With those clothes anywhere around here would might think you're a nice girl. I want more clothes. Let's go. You can't be Gandorf. You are trying to stop Gan already. Yeah, I know. But it's head cannon, Fragger. Come on. Just be like, bro. Bro. Although it doesn't actually say that he's a Gerudo either. So I'm not sure if he is or not. He just kind of looks like one. Let's go. Oh, I'm going to go get them sand boots too. There you go. Now you're thinking. No, Boris. Shh. You're loud. All right, is that guy gone? Looks like that. Nope, he's there. Sup, yo. The lovely young lady is just my type. Still spying? What? No, 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 of course not. I'm just investigating. Mm. This exchange feels incredibly familiar to me. Gave that guy a head rush. Oh, this guy stopped. That was cool. He's scratching his ear. Oh my god. With his tail. That was adorable. That just made me incredibly happy. Ow. Why did you do that? Seal friend. You bonk in your head. Hey, Creeper, give me your boots. So, yeah, hey, the name's Bullseye. I'm 35 single and I love jogging, especially on sand. Yeah, everyone says I'm tenacious as a tick, and I think some of them meant it as a nice way, too. So, so you out here on your own, pretty rough and tumble place. Wanna hang out with me a while? Nice sand jogging. Ah, you notice these old things? They're, they're, yeah, they're my sand boots. They allow me to traverse the desert without being slowed down at all. So jogging is a breeze. If you'd like to check them out, you can grab a quiet corner and... Give me those boots. Huh? Oh, well, here's the thing. These sand boots are super rare, and I'd happily give them to you, but... Wait, this is a golden chance to woo. Mm. I mean, sure, I'd love to give them to you, but... You hungry little boot monster. But first a favor. You ever hear of the Le legend of the eighth heroine? Ah. Everyone's heard the legend in the Gerudo region about the seven heroines, but some tell of an eighth heroine. Quite clear from history, no one knows why or how. A phantom heroine known to all, but seen by none. I've been taken with the legend since I was a child. Find her. Show me the eighth heroine, and I'll give you the sand boots. What do you say? Mm. Yes! Mm. <laughs> According to those who idolize the eighth heroine, She's enshrined somewhere in the Grudel Highlands. Apparently, they are even gave a nickname to her. The Bronze Giant. Catchy. Beyond that, I don't really know much. Who knows? There might be someone in Grudel Town who knows all about the Legend of the Seven Heroines. Maybe that info would help. I don't know. Anyway, draw a picture or something if you want to find her, and then show me. I'm pretty picky about pictures, too. If you go and make sure at least the statue's upper half is visible, okay? So he knows it's a statue. Oh, and here, if you like, you can use these. Sure they'll come in handy. Besides, you seem really into boots. Snow boots? Fuck yeah! I didn't know I got them from him. The Grudel Highlands are covered in deep snow, so it's hard to walk, right? Everyone knows that. But with these snow boots, you can walk through snow like it was a flat ground. Uh. No, you can walk even faster than that. No one makes these anymore, so they can be extremely valuable. I thought you can't keep them, okay? 
Screw that. I want to keep them. Aww. Many have investigated the HO, but it's an inscrutable legend. It's an unsolved and possibly unsolvable puzzle. And as Miss Boots spins her weasel on it, we'll grow closer and closer. And then. Hee mm. <laughs> hee! Such a creep, dude. This is how I get into Gerudo Town. Whoa. Oh, I don't care about that. What's up, my bitches? Hi. Oh. Saw Bata? Was that it? I can't tell. Actually, I guess she's technically female, right? Apparently, you really have to bite your lip to get that V sound out clearly. A little kid made fun of me yesterday for not being able to get the pronunciation right. I don't know why, but it sounds the same to me no matter what I do. Aww. That's sad. Alright, let's go talk to the... What is she, a princess? What's up? Riju, that's her name. Chief, that's what she is. Yet another traveler. What's up? I like your lipstick. You in here? Oh. Seems you have something rather interesting there. Checking out my junk. Oh. You stand before Lady Riju, chief of the Gerudo. Declare your business, but come no closer. Hold on, Bolaria. This one appears to be more common traveler. More than a common traveler. You there, what is your name? Link. Oh. <laughs> Link! Where did you come all this way to tell me, Link? I came to call him the Boris. Sing him a sweet oh. lullaby. You think you have what it takes to subdue something so powerful as a divine beast? The only ones who could do that control... Without, who could ever control them were champions like Lady Urbosa. Her boss is badass. And all the champions died to the calamity 100 years ago. Hmm. Hmm. Valeria, a memory just jumped into my head, something my mother spoke of. When the calamity happened, the princess of Hyrule placed a fallen swordsman into a deep sleep. That swordsman, much like our new friend here, was named Link. Though it always seemed more legend than fact. But Lady Ruju! Do the stories... Not only say that the Hylian champion carried a legendary sword, everyone's making fun of me because I don't have my sword. There's no such weapon in this person's care. Hmm. They do indeed. If I can't recall correctly, it was called the sword that seals the darkness. Master sword's easier to say. The princess of Hyrule supposedly hid it away in the lost woods. Hmm. What of the oh? What of the device? It's on the, this one's hip. It appears to be a precious relic of the Sheikah. I can't imagine they would give something so valuable to a simple drifter, can you? Mm. I don't remember ever hearing a highly Vi among the champions. Oh. Wait a moment! You're a bow! <laughs> a bow- oh, different voice. A bow, with, a bow within our walls is a great crime, but a bow who is a champion? <laughs> Time for an orgy! Nope. Well, I'd never mistreat a friend of Lady Urbosa. And if you're here to help us in the Boris, then we are allies. Mm. We saw it on your way to town. Divine Beast found Boris cloaked in a massive sandstorm, hurling lightning at anyone who dare approach. Mm. We have to do something to stop it. We have to yet to find a way to appease the Divine Beast on our own. <gasps> so much reading, my jaw hurts. If you truly are a champion, perhaps you will be able to enter the Boris and calm its anger. Mm. Lady Riju! I don't understand how you can trust a complete stranger with something as important as this task. Perhaps if this person were to first to prove his worth by recovering your stolen thunder helm. Hmm. Oh yes, an inter interesting suggestion. You see, there's only one thing in all Hyrule that can withstand the lightning from a force. The thunder helm, a family heirloom and relic of the Gerudo. But as Ubularia says, he was stolen from us. You needn't worry, Lady Biju. If he truly is a champion, this should be an easy task for him. Oh. Our soldiers can tell you... All you need to know about the thieves who stole Lady Riju's heirloom. Head through this arch, I will lead you to the barracks. Then seek out the Captain Teak and ask for a full report. Without the heirloom, you'll never...